Hey everyone and welcome back to Norris Cove. Today I decided to do a voiceover for my weekly plan with me because I've been trying to get it on camera but I've been playing with different inserts you might can see here from my planner. Um, I've just been having a time with weekly inserts and I've been testing out a few so I've been doing it off camera to kind of get my groove but the ones that I'm using today I designed myself and um, I wanted to break up my weekday and my week or my weekdays. I wanted to break them up into like appointments, my to do's and bills. And then I wanted to include a cleaning schedule. And I was watching Tiffany plans. And that's kind of where I decided to break up these horizontals because you all know I'm not a horizontal person, but I am a vertical girl. So doing my plans like this, this kind of gives me a vertical look. So that's how I've been doing them. And I redid this weekly horizontal. Um, now this one isn't in my shop, but uh, it's in the shop without the lines down the middle and the font and everything is different. But I just went in and redid the font redid the layout with the thinner lines and i'm so far liking it i really am um i was gonna just i'm just really testing it out before i put it in the shop um this is like maybe my second time using it but it's really working so if you've never watched a minimal plan with me what i like to do is i like to list my times first um like appointments and all that great stuff. So that's what's going to be to the left of my schedule is my time and um, things like that. And um, I believe here I'm making a note or have made a note or making a note to about my appointment for my physical therapy. I can't remember the date and I'm not for sure if I put it on my phone schedule. So that's just a note for me to do that. So yeah, um, I list my appointments on the left Everything salon related, the time I need to be there will be on the left. Um, the next section is my to-do section, and that's like workouts, meal planning, design, um, filming, budget stuff, all that stuff. And I think I can fit it in there. And then on this last column is my cleaning schedule. And also I got this from Tiffany. And like I said, I was inspired by her to do the, well, I've already been doing, writing down 10 minute tidy, but I said, oh, dang, I guess I better make it 15 minute tidy. So a 15 minute tidy a day. And if I keep writing it down, looking at it, then I'll get it done. And she was mentioning she had dogs and we have dogs as well. And so I'm like, yeah, I need to vacuum more on a daily basis. So I'm writing that down and then just things that I'd like to clean and on the day. Now I will say this, they go kind of like if it's a day that I'm busy, um, at work, um, and not a lot is going to get done, but I did notice like on Tuesday that I have a lot of chores written down, but Wednesday is trash day, which I forgot to write down, but, um, I like to do, um, my refrigerator clean that out before trash day. Sometimes I do it on Sunday, but just never know what we've eaten. So it may get back a mess on by Tuesday. So I would prefer to do it the day before. So everything is out and my son can take the trash out. But, yeah, so if I have a really, like, work day, I'm not doing a whole lot of cleaning. So that's why you see, um, you'll see, rather, later in the week when it gets busy, my it gets down to a 15-minute tidy and just vacuum or just two or three um, chores. But um, I'm testing this out because I've just been having a hard time, especially with all of us in the house now, and I'm pretty much the sole cleaner in the house. It's overwhelming, so things have stacked up because I'm a little stubborn where I feel like, okay, if nobody's going to do it, I'm not going to do it. If nobody picks up behind themselves, then I'll just pick up behind me. But, you know, I'm trying to change my thought process because I'm a little stubborn. So I'm trying to change my thought process, and I figure if I write these chores down, this is what I'm going to commit to doing a day. And so I, you know, it's, it's kind of working because some days I've just been busy. And I just don't get those, even the 15 minute tidies done. So, and a lot of times I'm just overwhelmed. So when I get off from work, I'm trying to catch a nap and I, it's just the last thing to do. I'm just being 100%. So putting it in my planner, 
I feel like I can just continue to write it down and continue to achieve these at least 15 minute tidies and vacuum. You know, that's just basically two things a day. So um, I really am liking this. So it's like I said, you can see towards the end of the week that, you know, it gets a little light. And um, sometimes on Saturdays, we may have, my son may have a game if it's not on Friday. So I'll just leave it kind of open and kind of in the air. And um, I, you'll see what, what I do because I can't tell. But I'm going through my stickers and this is what I like to do when I'm doing minimal planning. I put down the plans first before decorating and I'm not... Um, really decorating. I'm just putting down uh, icons and build do stickers and things like that. Um, I'm using these stickers here from Sweet Caress and I really love her stickers. They, you know, are similar. Well, I can say they're similar to mine, but um, we have some similar items, but sometimes I just like to purchase hers because I like hers, you know, over mine and or she may have something or color that I don't have. So, I'm using like the meeting sticker and the email sticker um, from her. Um, and then I'm trying to match. You'll see later when I start putting more stickers down. I'm matching my stickers up to her stickers. And so I, I forgot to look at the color of that sticker. Um, but the one that I'm using for mine is Ice Milk. And I don't know which one that is. Is that Wander? I can't see. But yeah, I'm just trying to match those up so everything is just kind of kind of flows together as far as color wise. I do use some like off pink um, icons that I've made for myself, but to me they're still in the neutral family. And um, also, I didn't mention, but I made some number stickers for myself, and I was debating of putting them in the shop. But I think I am going to add them, but I still may just make them a little bit smaller because I feel like it's taking up a little bit of room in my planner. So here, this is another sticker set by Sweet Caress, and this is like the fall um, collection. And I was going to use those, but I said I would just save those closer to like November. And so I'm just basically looking for um, just some stickers. And I really didn't want to do any decorating, but I wanted to stick with the... Um, neutral aesthetic so this is like a pouch from cloth and paper and I have a lot of my icon stickers and a lot of my stickers and the planner spot stickers in here which is another favorite shop of mine is the planner spot um I use like a lot of not a lot but I use uh, mainly her stickers my stickers and sweet caress stickers because they're just functional and they just work for me so I'm just flipping through here looking for icons and I was really looking for uh, plain icons and then I came across my build do stickers and I really like my build do stickers these have just worked wonders for me and um the dot at first I thought it might have been too big but it really brings my eye to that I got a build do so I think the dot is the perfect size and I'm thinking of redoing doing them and making some more but this again is the color in ice milk and yeah, these are my favorite, and this is my favorite color from my shop as well. But, yeah, so um, I'm just trying to find what works for me, um, and I love looking at Playing With Me videos. I see a lot of people have flips, but I love Playing With Me's because um, I'm always looking for something effective for me, and there's not a lot of hairstylist planners that I know of. Of course, I know Shakisha. That's my girl. Um, I know that she's a hairstylist and she planned, but um, right now she's digitally planning. And I used to get so many great ideas from her when um, she was paper planning, like especially with the sticker companies and stuff. And when I was in more into the uh, decorative planning. So I love looking at minimal plan uh, planners. So do me a favor. Like if you have a favorite minimal planner account that you watch on YouTube, leave it below. Um, I do follow a few. I follow Rana plans. I follow uh, the planner spot and she's functional, of course. Um, again, Tiffany plans. And, you know, some people that do, I can do a little deco. I can just take it out. But, um, yeah, so tell me below your favorite minimal planner um, accounts, if you are a minimal planner. 
Um, I follow a, a lot of decorative planners as well. <clears throat> Excuse me, but I just really want my planner to work for me. And I found that doing a lot of deco in my planner was just a distraction for me. And I think I've mentioned that before. And I just feel like I get so much more done. And I love to like take a Tombow or a mile liner and just go through what I've done, like mark it through. I just like it. I don't know. It's something about it, you know. Anywho, <clears throat> y'all excuse me. But um, right now, these are some stickers that I made for myself as well. These, um, they're film and business. And I'm looking for these headers. Well, I'm going to put add these headers over into the two columns to the right because um, I like that to be empty because I can change it to whatever I want it to change it to. And also, I'm listing like my filming schedule on this insert. So it's kind of working for me. And I did use the cloth and paper one last week. But um, I think I'm, I like this one better. Now, there's no lines on this. And I'm okay with that. I can just kind of you know, write a little neat, but now I'm just going through these stickers. These are many, many stickers and, uh, just trying to get to exactly what I'm looking for. So these stickers that I'm about to use are from, I believe it's May Paper Co or May Co. Oh goodness. And I'm struggling to see this, but anywho, love her stickers as well. Love the vibe of her stickers. Um, I'm going to try to remember to leave everybody's information below, but I, I'm already tell you. I know I'm not good at it because then I got to go search and all that stuff. But if there's something that you saw per usual that you like, just let me know. So, yeah, I'm taking her stickers and I'm putting them as a base. And then I'm adding my business sticker and my podcast because the podcast is coming back. But I have to write stuff down. Like, I, that's why I love paper planning because... I have to write it down. I have to write like my plans. Even though I may not do them, I like to write them. Um, I just like to write things down because if I keep writing it down, if I keep looking at it, or let's say I wrote it down, but I didn't do it, and then I go to review my week, I'm like, oh, I got to do this. You know, oh, I got to do that. And you'll see me kind of do that towards the end of the video. I'll see my from last week. And I realized I need, something needed to go to this week. So I enjoy paper planning. Like, I, I'm, I don't knock anybody who digital plan. And I'm not saying anything is wrong with it at all. Because I know plenty of people who digital plan. But I'm just not the one that's going to take my iPad out the house. I'm telling you, I don't take my iPad out the house, period. And I'm just not going to take it out. Because for one, I'm clumsy. And I just, I can't afford to replace it. Um... I try to do more than look at videos on my iPad. I don't play games on it, but I do look at videos. I'm trying to do more with it and design and stuff like that on it, but it doesn't leave the house. So it's, to me, it's no need to me digital planning on it. As y'all have seen, I've tried to budget plan on it. And even that, I, I kind of struggle with because I just, I don't know something about the paper. But my only issue with paper planning is I use a lot of sticky notes and I make a bunch of notes. And I'll find them all over the house or all over the place. Like, I have a journal, little thing beside my bed. It's like, came from cloth and paper, a little spiral notebook. I make notes in that. I wake up, I write things down in that. And then try to transfer it to my planner. So, yeah, I just like to write. Now, these stickers here are some stickers I made a couple of years ago. And they're just for me. So, I'm just putting down, like, I'm going to be getting paid on Tuesday from Shopify. Um, that I need to do my budget. So when I ran across them, it just reminded me to put them in there. And then these are the icons um, that I made for myself with the color background. And I thought about bringing these to the shop, but um, I just, uh, because I'm going to need like all the colors. And so I, that's something that I'm working on um, for 2023. And just to kind of clean up the shop and get rid of some things. And just make sure that these things have a file, basically. So that way I won't have a hard time having to keep doing them all over each time. I mean, my business owners know what I'm talking about. But yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I'm just going back and doing the decorative part of the planning. Um, just adding icons and all that great stuff. So I'm not going to talk y'all to death because I don't want to feel like I got to talk through the whole thing. Um, but I just wanted you guys to kind of see my process, um, also see my new process and this new insert 
and how I pretty much go about planning my day or excuse me, planning my week. But it's pretty simple. And let me, I said I was going to stop, but let me say this. That's kind of what I'm digging about the horizontal is because I don't have to list things. The more space I have, the more deco I'm going to feel like I need to do, the more listing I feel like I need to do. But if I'm using horizontal, I don't have to do a bunch of like a whole brain dump on my weekly. So, yeah, that is pretty much that. So I ended up talking pretty much through the whole video. So now I'm just putting it back. Look at that cute dashboard, y'all. Those are new dashboards that I made for my planner. But yeah, this is kind of working for me. And I'm just glad I was able to share it with you guys and see here. This is where I noticed something from last week that needed to be put onto this week. And I actually saw a few more things and I'll add them later, like things to buy. So, but that is it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, stay tuned for more if you like this and let me know how you like this insert. Um, because again, it may be coming to the shop, but thank you all so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.